welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X2. I'm Zachary Chow. Yuna must leave. And we're at Mount Ronso Gakazet today. Ronso used force to seek vengeance for fallen Ronso. Garrick lead angry Ronso youth, decide to take revenge on Guado. Garrick go to battle. Now Garrick climb peak, tell mountain battle plan. Mountain suggests yes or here? no. Hi. Garrick hear voice of mountain. Garrick change mind. Kimari hopes so. And if he doesn't? Kimari stop Ronso youth. That's crazy. Elder Kimari have no choice. He is Elder Kimari. Kimari give something. Kimari search mountain, but find only sphere. Kimari not know if found sphere is one Yuna seek. But Kimari it's one of many. Sphere help Yuna. Probably at least. And we get the trainer dress sphere. Now I know I used that on Yojimbo. Or at least in that trials, but Uni, this, isn't this is where you actually get it. There's I got it time. earlier Should in the replay through. We're, We're going, gonna go ahead. Maybe we can reason with him. If you not go, Kimari think Garrick listen. Maybe. If not, Kimari deal with Garrick. And we have a new mission. We have to go and stop Garrick and the Ronso youth. Now in super fast motion. Equipping the uh, trainer dress gears and looking at the new ones. Last time from the uh, Taurus Trap mission, we got the Tetra Master, which gives you Tetra Strike, which is actually a lot better for. Uh, it'd be very good for the Berserker um, because the Berserker is going to attack fairly often. I didn't realize that the first time through, but the second time through I do, so we will see that. And actually I'll change it fairly soon on this one too. And this is Yuna's, uh, and that's Riku's, just a little bit different than uh, the other one. And this is Pain's. One of the first abilities you're going to want to get is HP Stroll along with MP Stroll after you unlock HP Stroll because that will give you uh... I just like looking at the Dark Knight and just seeing all those proofs that's pretty awesome um... those will give you HP and MP as you walk around now Garrick was smart and uh... De uh, deactivated all the teleporters up to the uh, peak of the mountain. So we can't just teleport to find him. We actually have to go manually up through the paths. And of course, what does that mean? That means lots of random battles. I do not know whether we have seen these enemies before. I'm pretty sure we saw the Vespa before. That would be the Wasp enemy. Um, but I do not know if we saw the best in it. Pretty typical enemies. Um, if you still need to work to get, like, before facing Yojimbo, if you want to get a star pendant, here's fairly good. The Vespa back. will occasionally drop them. And this is how you totally destroy fiends on this map. a little bit of cutting to uh let's see what did I do there? It was something. Like I had opened the menu twice or something. And that's where I did a large part of it. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's one thing that I'd like why I like Radiata Stories, Legend of Dragoon, Dot Hack. Uh is there any more that I can think of? down off the top of my head. That why I like them just a little bit better than maybe most of the Final Fantasy series. Final Fantasy 13. 
because they don't have random encounters. They have encounters that you can actively see when it's going to happen. Transitions a little bit smoother. Uh, now, Legend of Dragon transition isn't as smooth. Um, but you can see it before it happens. It just makes it Sorry. feel not forced all the time. Ugh, it's kind of annoying sometimes. How many random encounters they can put in here. Like, especially Mount Gagazette. In this place, you'll be doing a lot. Anyway, this is a Gimini or a Gemini, whichever way you want to pronounce it, whether you're going with English or Latin pronunciation. It's basically the Iron Giant, except for it has Skullcracker, which actually the Iron Giant might have Skullcracker. Um, this would be the boss in, uh, uh, let's see, what is that? Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, which, uh, you fight at, uh, Mount Kalando. Wake up. It's the volcano level. Most people think that is an Iron Giant, he's actually supposed to be a Gimini. You can kind of tell by what's on his head. And there's a little bit of a cut here, because I took forever in the menu. This is already long enough, we don't need more time added to it! I think I just, yeah, like you saw there, I just switched the uh, Tetra Master to Yuna and, or to Riku and... Put the Hour of Need on, uh... Riku. What am I giving her? Because the Null Shock Ring is actually pretty good, but the... I guess that won't work. Oh, I found out the other day. You know how I said Assault is pretty awesome? That would be a warrior technique. Uh, it's where you put haste, berserk, and protect? I don't know. Um, but you put three or four things on each of the party members and then... And then you basically go all out. This is a newer enemy that we haven't seen. This is a greater drake. Um, it's essentially the same thing as a lesser drake, except for a little bit stronger. Um, it's not really anything. The My assault does go really through, like, sanity preserver and whatever. If you have blocking berserk, it does go through that. So don't think you'll, you're completely safe. Oh, yeah. uh, those only protect against berserk that is put from somebody else. Too many random encounters! Come on, Square! Too many random encounters. Yuna's probably one of the better healers here, because most of the time she'll be on Dark Knight, which will basically never use MP. Except for maybe one move occasionally. But we don't even have that move yet. Random encounter. Uh, another random encounter now. And another random encounter now. Just too many. Jeez. I don't want to be like the whiny guy about this, but come on. If you remember this from the first game, this is where you fought uh, Seymour. It's not Flux. Flux is last. It's long, zombifying spear Seymour that took me forever to beat. Because I could never beat him. Because he would always zombify me and then kill me. And then we go to the rock face that we were at before. At least I think 
Yeah, yeah, it was back there. It was back there on that snowy part. It's not right here. Um... I am climbing the wall. Note to everybody, do not climb the wall. It is just a pain and takes forever and you're not going to where you need to go. And there are more random encounters than you'll ever need in a video game. Basically. Do not climb the wall. Go down and around. You still cannot get that treasure chest. I am sad. Actually, you can probably get the treasure chest some round roundabout way that I do not know. There is any of the treasure chests that were at the top of the mountain that you got before. Every chapter, all the treasure chests seem to refill. You can check them. Nothing great in any of them. So it's more of a bother than awesome. Check them if you want. I recommend not. Not climb the wall. Actually, wait. This might you might need to climb up the wall. If this is true. Then I ignore my ignore my first statement and don't climb up the wall, but climb up this wall, or don't climb up this wall. It's one of the walls you're not supposed to climb up. It might be this one. <clears throat> Just keep he heading to the left as much as possible until you can't head to the left anymore, and then if you can't head up to the left anymore, head up, and then try to go to the left some more. That's essentially what you're supposed to be doing. There's a treasure chest in that part. You can get up to the uh, ruins you saw before from there, but there's nothing really up there. Climbing back down the wall. Actually, that is the first wall. Don't climb up the first wall! Head around this way. Until you get back to the, uh... Inner, uh, caves. And... We'll have to continue this in the next episode of Final Fantasy X2. Next episode, we will be taking on Garrick. Kicking his butt for making us walk this far. I'm Zachary H. Elkham. Thank you for watching, and have fun gaming. Let's finish this.